I used to be really into anime when I was younger. I had this friend who, back in the day of VHS tapes, would copy me episodes of anime shows like Roroni Kenshin, Neon Genesis Evangelion, a personal favourite, and films like Ninja Scroll, Ghost in the Shell, Akira. But as I got a little bit older, I kind of, you know, didn't necessarily go away from that. I would catch maybe some of the more uh, bigger film from, say, like Studio Ghibli or something like that. But I definitely, uh, st you know, steered away from it and had other interests and everything like that. So I did, don't know or haven't known what's been popular, what's been making a big splash, not just in Japan, but in other countries and internationally as well. So it was with some great joy that I discovered the 2006 anime film Your Name. I guess when I was a teenager, a lot of the films and TV anime shows I would watch were, you know, quite violent, quite gory, quite action orientated or fantastical. And while this film, Your Name, definitely does have a fantastical element to it, it really is a teenage romance story that I just absolutely fell in love with. The basic plot of the film is that a high school boy in Tokyo and a high school girl in rural Japan for some strange reason start to swap bodies and they begin to leave notes for each other on each other's phones so that they can help each other navigate uh, their individual lives when this random body swapping does occur and does happen. There's a lot of wacky and zany uh, ideas and jokes that can happen with that, especially that it's, you know, a male and a female. That premise of swapping bodies, it's not a joke premise when it comes to this film. This film is really about how do you connect with someone else and, and really what it means to live in somebody else's life and what that can mean to, to your life uh, when you're seeing it from a different perspective. There's a lot of, you know, deeper uh, meaning going into it. And you see that in the way that, I mean, there's a very, I believe it's called pillow shots. I don't know if the great Japanese director Ozu um, developed it or if it's something that's kind of in the, the Japanese f film landscape. Because I see this in a lot of uh, Japanese films and anime where you there are kind of just really still shots of the characters self-reflecting on something. Or if it's not a character, it's some nature, some grass blowing in the wind. Um, or like a tree losing a leaf and maybe a character is witnessing this, maybe they're not. Maybe it's just a transition between scenes. And I think shots like that, which are very thought-provoking and thoughtful, not because they're necessarily amazingly stunning, they, they often are, but it just leaves that room to breathe for not only the characters, but for the audience as well to ruminate and to think about what they've just seen and what they've just experienced within the world of the film. When you have a lot of moments like that with some thoughtful voiceover and some interesting concept about how this affects the characters personally suddenly it the zany silly elements that are peppered throughout the film and are not often there once the film really gets going um, it takes on a whole new meaning and it becomes about uh, what it means to know other people and the fact that we do need people in our lives and what that kind of means. Now don't, now don't get me wrong, because it is a Japanese anime aimed at, I guess, teenagers, but I, I guess it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a family film to a certain extent. Um, you know, you've got all the kind of sound, like the kind of really certain kind of soundtrack that I think these films are known for. Um, I think you've got the kind of teenage humor at times, but it's it all very works very well to the central characters and to the overall plot. It's not just, well, it is a body swapping film, I guess, to a certain extent, but when, when you find out why they body swap, which has to do with the mis mysterious comment, I mean, it doesn't go too much into the explanation, um, and it just has a fantastical notion to it. But what that comment actually means, that comment coming down to Earth, actually means um, in the greater span of the story, it develops like a ticking clock uh, plot element that suddenly amps the movie up from this kind of meat cute uh, body swapping um, self-reflective teen comedy to something that almost has elements of action and elements of a thriller and, and those kind of things in the second half of the film. And I thought those two things merged together quite well. 
on a personal note, this uh, film came to me at the, the right time. Uh, it's been a while since uh, my last video. Uh, I was hoping to start earlier in Jan, but unfortunately I had a uh, uh, loss in the family that really, uh, you know, for all the chaos of funeral arrangements and telling people, informing people, and then just mourning the loss of this person, um, I think this film really made me smile and made me enjoy uh, life, I guess, to a certain extent. I was ecstatic for these characters and their journeys and the romance and, and all that kind of stuff. And it, for all this personal stuff I'd been going through, it really just put a smile on my face and, and really made me interested to see more about what kind of anime films and stuff that I've missed because as I said, when I was younger, like I, you know, saw a lot of more actiony based ones and, and, and stuff like that. And this was really nice. It's about people. It's about, um, every, you know, everyday people and extraordinary things happening to them, which I think everyone can, um, you know, semi relate to, I guess, to a certain extent, but, uh, it really helped me, uh, you know, put it on for an hour and a half, two hours, however long it was. And it just chewed me out of all of the, um, sadness that I was currently going through so I think if you're in the mood especially with I know in some parts of the world that COVID um, is not going so great compared to us here in Australia if you need something to cheer you up and make you smile I you know I can't recommend your name enough it's currently streaming on Netflix I, I presume that's going to be Netflix in most countries around the world but definitely in Australia and I think if you want to see something that is pure entertainment and that that wonder that you get from the fantastical in the ordinary and from a film that is expertly made and really well crafted then 2016's Japanese anime film Your Name is a must. So until next time guys, uh, thanks very much and I hope everyone is well.